what is up guys and welcome back to the game plus today i'm going to show you guys how to set up your pp sspp emulator for ios on how to play online with two modes we're gonna do echo mode and we're gonna do infra mode uh in order to get this started i'm gonna put a link down below in the video description so you could join our discord server which is this one right here as you guys can see on the screen after you join the server, i uh, also going to have the link down below in the video description. You're going to go to what it says, Setup Guides, and we're going to look for uh, um, the infra iOS Infrastructure Guide made by my friend uh, Carmi. So you're going to open that link. Once again, that link is going to be also down below in the video description so you guys can see as well. After you open the link, is uh, you just got to follow the steps right here that you guys see. But we're going to skip some of, some of those steps so I could get you uh, up and started um with the emulator actually working and i'm gonna set it up for you guys so you guys can see what you need to be doing in order for this to work first of all you're gonna grab the link right here for the ipi of um the infra mode which is this one you guys can see right here on the screen so after you grab that link you're gonna go back in here and you're gonna need the plugin in order to enable the infrastructure to work uh, properly this step is for the infra infrastructure mode, for the regular multiplayer mode, not for the account mode. But we're going to grab that file, which is right here. And after you grab that file, we're also going to extract the file. And then I'm going to show you what we can do with that file next. In order for this to work, remember, you need to have also already installed in your uh, iOS device in order for this to install. After you have also installed, you're going to look for all store in your iOS device. We're going to open all store. We're going to go what it says, my apps. And when we click on my apps, we're going to go to the plus sign right here in the top left corner. We're going to click in that. And that's how you install the API file you should download it from um, the website there. So after you have that installed, remember, we need the infra, infra plugin in order for that to work, which we have over here. But we're not going to use it just yet. <laughs> and this is the first time you need to run the emulator and when you run the emulator for the first time because you probably don't have the folder that i have here on the screen as you guys saw before that i opened the emulator you run the emulator and by running the emulator it's going to create the folder for the uh, pp sspp emulator so after you run the emulator for the first time you're going to close the emulator you're going to go back to your files inside of your file you're going to locate the folder inside that folder going to be a folder called psp and in here, that's where you're going to put the plugin. It's already there because I already did this before. But if you don't have it, after you have that folder created, you're going to basically unzip this file by clicking on it. By you clicking on it, it's going to unzip it automatically. It's going to have a folder here. Don't mind the two PSP folder that I have here because I did this already. So I'm going to take this one out of here. It's basically this one right here. So you're going to open that folder and you're going to copy this um, plugin folder. You're going to open the PPSPP folder again, open the PSP, and you're going to drop the plugin. You're going to drop it in here, which is this folder right here. That step right here is to enable infrastructure. There's some games that are supported with infrastructure, which is a regular multiplayer mode without having to use the art HUD. And I'm going to show you a list of games that support that. So after you've done that, we need to go back here to the PSP emulator. We're going to go to settings, uh, the graphic we, uh, you can mess with that later on, but we're going to go to the most important tab, which is here, the networking, and then we're going to enable networking. So that needs to be on in order for the multiplayer to work in either ad hoc or infrastructure. So make sure that that is enabled and... Also, very important thing uh, is you're going to do alcohol. You need to be on SoCo.cc for that to work, so make sure that's in there. But I believe by default now that does comes in. Also, they enable UPnP. For some games, it's required to have this enable. And also, the port option needs to be set up to zero in order for this to work. So after you have all of that, all of that done and ready, uh, we could um, go ahead and check the next step. I'm uh, also going to have here, like I said, mentioned before, some um, lists for games that are supported. And I'm also going to provide with a list down below in the video description so you guys can see uh, the games that you could play through Arcade and some other games that you could play from Infrastructure Mode. And just please bear with me. This tutorial is going to be rather a little bit longer because I want to set you as guys correctly. And also, you could join our Discord if you have any questions. You could go in there and ask some questions and check our health and support side and the area that you could see how we could help you. <clears throat> so after you've done all of that, we're going to be jumping right now into one of the games. Uh, I'm going to be jumping into Soccer Fire Team Bravo 2. 
I'm going to be showing you two samples. I'm going to be showing you joining an ad hoc game and creating an ad hoc game. And another one, infrastructure, infrastructure game, which is a regular multiplayer mode that you probably guys want to see. One thing to have in mind is you're playing on the same network. For the second device, you need to be on a VPN. Right here on my iPad, as you can see in the top right corner, it says VPN next to the Wi-Fi. The reason why I'm on, on the VPN on this one is because if we are on the same network and you're playing out hard and you're going to play on the same network multiple devices, each of the different devices needs to be in a different um, network. So the easiest way to do that is by just enabling uh, VPN so you could create and actually find that room if you're playing on the hub mode. I say this because some people ask some questions before in the Discord. Oh, why I can't find my own game? I say network. This is the reason why, because it's kind of limited for odd hub and infrastructure. You won't have that issue. It's just more for our hub mode. Now, moving on, we're going to be going to inside the game. So now that we're inside the game, I got to show you guys something very important right here inside the game. So inside the game right here, uh, we're going to set, we're going to see oh, my emulator on the PPSSPP that's so more I'm gonna have the emulator right now to show up let me just have fix this a little bit here so let me switch back to the different screen so you guys can see everything that's going on so right now we're gonna switch to the other screen so you guys can see a view of both things going on right now so let's go and check so we're gonna go back in here Let's, let me take these out of the way. And right here, we're going to do a quick jump right now. And as you guys can see. Right here, I have a list of my website. This is the Stockholm that you see. That's for you to check all the app how games going on. And for here, for infrastructure mode, um, we have uh, inside our disco and on the online status here window. You could see what games are online. By clicking the Socon that you see, that's for alcohol mode. That's a page that you guys saw before I close it. And right over here, all the tasks that I got open, you can actually just check those out by going here on our online status page in the Discord. And we have two pages one is for Fire Team Bravo 1, another one's for Fire Team Bravo 2. And the other one is the old general, so you can see all the games available. That one is actually, you could see, is because remember, the infra mode is powered up by. One up and Kerberos, they created the, ser uh, the server for the infrastructure mode. They have some PS2 games that you could play online using the servers, as well as some PSP games. All of, all of this information is going to be down below in the video description. So you could join the Discord and you guys can check uh, the whole list that they have of games right here because I'm only giving you here a preview here. But you can check all the lists and you have any question how to set that up. It's going to be everything on the Discord. I also gonna have, like I mentioned before, down below, a link so you guys can see all the AHA games that are compatible here on the on the our sock on that CC at hot mo. So you can see all the games that I completed here. A big thanks for my friend Carmi, Sorer, Diego, Alistar that created this list by checking all of that, and a huge ass thanks for Limblo for creating the sock on that CC at hot server. And also one up and Kerberos for creating the infra mode for uh, our Socon games in um, some PS2 games. So back in here again, we have two screens right now, so you guys can see. The top is my iPad on the top right here. The bottom right here is gonna be my um, PP SSPP desktop mode, so I could show you our code mode, and I'm gonna show you also as well infrastructure mode. This video is again, I'm sorry, it's gonna be rather long, so I could show you guys everything so you can see the difference. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I showed you guys how to set everything up. If you follow everything correctly, everything should be up and running. I also I'm gonna have at the beginning of the video a link back to my how to set up all store video because you need to have also set up uh, properly and install the PPSPP emulator IPI file provided by us, which is a custom version of. Uh, the PP SSPP emulator for iOS that include the infrastructure mode you're interested in playing regular multiplayer game by checking the list on um, one up server and also 
is um it's the best version we have available we all of that so you guys can actually um see and play with it so now that we're here i'm gonna be creating a game on the on my ipad so we're gonna go to account mode instead of infrastructure and i'm gonna change the character name so it doesn't have any type of conflict again my ipad is going to be on account mode I mean, it's going to be on BPN because we're going to be in the, on the same network. So we're going to have that in there. And I'm going to join that game going to be created by my iPad. I'm going to join it on the uh, on my desktop mode with a PPS VP emulator. So as you guys can see, I created the game and now I see it on the computer. This is uh -huh. this is not infrastructure yet. You're going to see the difference very soon. So now that I'm here, you can see that my iPad name, I named me Joe, and the other one's gonna be my PSN name, my uh, and my uh, name for everything else is gonna be here. So as you guys can see, I was able to find each other. But remember, this only work because I'm using a VPN on the iPad. If you're trying to use your same network to connect both of them at the same time, it will not work. The reason why is because it's gonna be a conflict because they're gonna both of the devices are gonna be fighting for that for that port to forward to, and it's gonna be a conflict uh, a conflict between each other. So that's why this uh, one of the devices has to be in a VPN. So as you guys can see here, after having the VPN enabled, you guys can try this yourself without VPN. You're gonna see that you won't be able to find the room. It's gonna be like a 50 50, so it's gonna be a lot of errors trying to connect to the same room on using the same network. But right here, because I have my iPad on the VPN network, I was able to find the room on my computer. And some other features that you could use um, on the AHUT server is that you have. Um, uh, you have chat support so you can chat in between each other. So if I run a message from here, you can actually see the message in the on the other end. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit a niche feature, but I just wanted to show it off because I, was, I thought it was interesting because some of the people don't they don't have all the ways to using while well, using account you don't not have the luxury of having voice chat unless you join a, a Discord, but you could actually talk to each other using test test messages inside of the app hub as a version of it. You could do that between the ios and the computer you could also do this as well too if you got the pro client installed in your custom firmware uh psp or ps beta and the setup for those are available also in our discord so make sure you go and check it out if you're interested on that this is mainly more for how to set up to play online using the pps vp emulator on your ios device this works again on your ipad and as well as your iphone so as you guys can see, the ad hub mode game, it works properly. Again, I can't stress this enough as long as you are using a VPN. So that is working. So now we're going to be testing um, infrastructure mode, which is the regular multiplayer mode, no crazy setup or anything like that. Just make sure you're installing the app and following the step at the beginning of the video on how to do this and <clears throat> these are the uh, right here again the list again that are supported in infrastructure mode created by one up and Kerberos. so as you guys can see fire team robot 2 works perfectly fine so we're gonna go in infrastructure mode so i'm entering infrastructure mode right here in my pc emulator and then we're gonna be doing the same with the ipad on the top so we're gonna go in now <clears throat> So you can see the difference between that. Oh, and also this mode supports voice chat because uh, this game originally in you know, infrastructure mode supports voice chat. So you actually could use voice chat. The only thing is with the emulator is that the Microsoft doesn't work correctly. But if you're using a PSP or PS Beta, using the Pro Online add-on on the custom firmware PSP and PS Beta, you could actually use the voice chat. And you could do the same thing as you have a regular firmware PSP and PS Vita, but it's a little bit of um, step that you had to take in order to do this to set up to play online on the server. But you could do that. But that's only for infrastructure mode, account mode. You will not. You are going to need to have your PSP or PS Vita with custom firmware for that. 
So right here, I'm gonna create again another room. I'm gonna create it here on our desktop mode. You see, that's my online ID right here, Action One. And it's joining the game right here through the iPad on infrastructure mode, not ACOG. So as you guys can see, this is so far this is pretty working fine. And right here on my left side, you can see right here, this is for the online status. And you can see there's two players online right now. And then right here, you can see the name of the room and the people that are inside, the name of the map and the name of the uh, uh, game time mode. And you can see I'm inside oh infrastructure mode this one right here this is a curve uh, this is a one on Kerberos uh page for infra mode and it can tell you more details about the game how many people are online what games are playing right now and that's what you can see right here on my left side the screen and as you guys can see right here i'm no, more, on, on, only Even thing you could do here in front more is to invite friends or invite uh invite people to be your friends friend requests and invite your client this is only available if you are a veteran that played so fighting bravo before uh, or bravo 2 you can only do this if you were playing online this is to show you that the service is actually back online and you could do all of this right here and the best part now is with all these tutorials that we have over our Discord, you could do the same thing as you with your iOS device. So as you guys can see right here, Acop mode is working on the PAP SPP emulator on iOS and as well as infrastructure mode. But remember, infrastructure mode, you have to check the list of games available. And for Acop mode, again, you gotta check the list of games available. And if you want to play locally with more than one device, you have to do VPN on your um, one of your iOS devices that are playing for, in order for this to work properly. And again, the list is going to be down below in the video description as well. Links for you guys to join our community um, page on Discord. I'm going to have everything down below in the video description. So thank you uh, for waiting for this video. It took me a while. I was collecting some information i was being really busy lately and if you find this video informative and helpful please remember to like and subscribe for more and also again make sure you check both for the discord the second community for shotgun.cc and fighting bravo online and as well one up and careful server so you can check more information on ps2 games online more psp games online and so on so once again Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.